How it started was I asked Jesus into my life at a Christian retreat and came back and wanted to give something back to the Lord. There's a verse in Matthew, which has kind of become the keystone verse for the clinic that says, inasmuch as you do it unto the least of these, meaning the indigent, the poor, you do it unto me. So I, I saw that as saying, if, if I serve the poor, I'm gonna be serving Jesus. And um, so I said, you know, I'm a good doctor. Let's try to do free medical care. You know, the impact of the Lackey Clinic is just unbelievable. When you think back, starting in a basement of a church and the work that was done with the Jim and Cooka, to now, you know, the building, which is so nice, but more importantly, the care that's provided there. When Jim and, and Cookham had this vision for the ministry, I don't think that they had any idea at all as to where they would go. I just think they felt a need, saw the need, and felt a need to respond to that. We're able to do so many different things that 12 years ago we had four exam rooms, now we have 10. It's just exciting to see what the future holds. When I first got here as a business guy, you say, how, how does this how does this thing work? And it took me a little while to figure out, but the support network that's there, everything from the students that come from William and Mary and volunteer scribes, to the donors, to the people that give us money through grants, to all the community partners. You can see the impact of that support very tangibly. Well, when I first came here, I was kind of nervous because I was the type of person that I Never wanted nothing fun for nothing. I would suffer before I take a hand out, you know. And the people talk to me and they let me know it's not a wrong thing to accept help. I felt people ain't that nice to do things for you like that without being a catch. And I found out different. There are some beautiful people in this world and a lot of them is right in this building here. I had had some medical problems in the past that had kind of derailed my life. I wasn't in a situation where I was able to be insured, and having this available uh, was, was it, it, well, it saved my life. It was a godsend. My husband and I are in a hard place. We, um, we're homeless. Did not have any income for five months, and then he got sick. He was in the ICU for 10 days. They didn't, the doctors didn't think he was gonna make it. I, I called Lackey like Clinic, but I asked, could I speak to Ms. Desmere? She's my counselor. Everyone at Lackey like Clinic prayed for us. Prayed for him. They took the fear away because they let me know that they was in my corner. You know, I. I was told, I was like the tin man, but I was all the pieces. These ladies got, and men got their stuff, got their head together, and put me back, put me back together to make me who I am right now, the cheerful person that I always been. We're staying in a basement in a house right now, and one of the nurses, they had gotten together and gone out and bought me a little space heater. So I went, because I told her how cold it was in the basement. This is just a, a small morsel showing how much they care. They say you will forget what people say to you. You will even forget what people do to you, but you will never forget how they make you feel. These people, every one of them, always make me feel like I am cared for, like they care about me and my health and what's gonna happen to me in my future. I think when you can walk out the door at the end of the day and know without a doubt that you have made a difference, um, that's a fulfilling, wonderful thing. If we have faithful people working here uh, and we continue to humble ourselves to God's plan and listen, I think God's going to do tremendous things. 25 years from now, hopefully I'll be with Jim in heaven with Jesus and we're looking down because the clinic's celebrating its 50th anniversary. Hopefully I'll be here. But if not, I'll be with him, and that'll be a lot of fun.